<sighs> what am I even doing here right now? I don't plan on seeing this movie. I don't support this movie in any way. I have nothing to gain by reacting to this. Ugh, but what's that phrase about how the show must go on? Oh, wait. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is CJ the Lone Wolf. And without further delay, let's get right on into tonight's meet. So, Disney has dropped the latest trailer for their latest live action remake, Mulan. Uh, before we get into reacting to this, let's just talk about it for a second. Now, I've made my feelings very clear on this channel about Disney and this slew of live action remakes. With the exception of Maleficent and the sequel, I don't feel like any of these remakes have any value to them other than to just print money. Um, you could say that they're reintroducing the stories to a new generation, but they could just go watch the original animated masterpieces. They are still good they still hold up to this day um, I haven't watched Mulan in quite some time but it was definitely one of my favorites and the soundtrack had a lot to do with that um, Mushu and Eddie Murphy did as well but one of the things that have, has just irked me about this trend of live action remakes is that they're so inconsistent with how they go about doing. Certain properties will get the copy and paste treatment that like Aladdin got. Other movies like Maleficent and Dumbo will get like a sort of reimagining of the story. And then you'll have weird movies like Mulan. Well, they'll just... They'll, they'll, they'll take certain elements, you know, they'll handpick certain elements to leave in and take out. Like this new one is not going to have the soundtrack, it's not going to have the, the music, the amazing music from the original. And it's not going to have Mushu, which I understand the Mushu thing. Um, it could be very culturally insensitive, I, I guess, in China. And th th that's the number one reason this movie is getting made at all, is to appeal to the China de de demographic. And from what I've re read so far, this trailer has just blown up the Chinese market it's gotten really great reception really good views um but before i start the reaction i just want to say one thing to disney i have one small request and you probably will never see this but i have one request for this movie and for this trailer um not for this trailer for the movie and if this request is fulfilled then i will be buying my ticket i will be there a front row or middle section probably middle section um off to the side i love to sit on the side of the th um so i can like make a quick getaway or go to the bathroom really quickly and get back in and also i don't like people sitting like bo on both sides of me but i will i will be there i will have my ticket and i will pay to see this movie disney if you do this one thing for me since you're not going to have any of the amazing music in this remake I want Christina Aguilera, my favorite artist, one of my favorite artists, I want Christina Aguilera to do a brand new rendition of Reflection. I want new vocals, I want a new per, um, new arrangement, and I want it to be released as a single before the movie comes out so I know that I'm getting it. I mean, you're not going to bait and switch me like you do with a lot of these other movie goers. But yeah, Christina Aguilera, Reflection needs to be in the movie, in credits, you... I, I, you know what? I will take like an instrumental scored version of the film of that song that just plays in the background. Or even if you just bring the song back, just have it in the credits. But it has to have Christina Aguilera on the vocals if you're going to do that. Um, I have a feeling that they're going to do what they did with Aladdin. And they're going to have um, the musical numbers for the first film show back up as um, like the background instrumental score. And I thought that was really lazy, to be honest. And it was just another cheap way to cash in on the nostalgia and not have to really do any work yourself. But all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right on into this reaction and see what we are working with here. The first trailer I thought was kind of weak, to be honest. I didn't think it was all that good, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's check this out. This is trailer number two for Disney's Mulan. Do you know why the phoenix sits on the right hand of the emperor? She is his guardian, his protector. Because she's both beautiful and strong. Your job is to bring honor to the family. See. I love this song, Bring On Into Us All. Production design and costumes are pretty good so far. Very colorful. Citizens, Definitely looks like a Disney movie. Their leader calls himself Ori Khan. If I 
guards alongside of which no survivors. Um. By edict of his imperial majesty, every family must contribute one man to fight. Have you no son? I am blessed with two daughters. I will fight. I don't think so. <laughs> the general doesn't think so either. See, this was such a badass scene in the original. This time you will not return. I think this actress would be cast from Mulan. Even though she doesn't have much personality. <laughs> she looks the part. Ooh, I like that. And true. It is my duty to protect my family. So I guess this phoenix is kind of the stand-in for Mushu. Ugh. Ugh. That was painful. This witch, where is this witch character coming from? Ooh. Ooh, I can hear the reflection. Ooh. She ain't gonna show them no mercy. Cause I'm Ba Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. And yes, you will. <sighs> so many mixed emotions about that. So many mixed emotions. Ugh. Where to even start? Well, it's number one on the trending uh, YouTube trending chart. So, yeah, Dizzy's doing their job. I, I don't know. <laughs> the, those lines of dialogue that are directly referencing the songs from the original. That, that will make a man out of you line. That was so much cringe right there. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but it's one thing to not have the songs from the original. And I could totally understand if they didn't want to do a musical. This is based on a real true like Chinese uh, legend proverb. Um, Mulan was like a real character, I think a real person, or at least it's based on like a, um, a f folklore. So um, if... if if the songs don't really fit with this new adaptation that they're doing, I can totally see them not having the songs and just doing, like I said earlier, having them be like the scored, the instrumental score in the background. But then if you're just going to make overt references to the songs and not have them in there, uh, that's the worst kind of blue balling, if you ask me. I just, mm, that was so bad. Don't have that in there. And the, the only reason it's in the trailer is to once again just grab you by the nostalgia balls and be like you remember this you remember this you remember this song remember that the only bit of music that i liked reference was the the new like score instrumental epic trailer version of reflection that they were using i am very happy that they at least used reflection in this first trailer i really hope that's not the only appearance that the song is going to get in this project once again reflection was uh, christina aguilera's huge it was her breakout hit you know or not really a hit but it was like her first song really it got her exposure it's what led to her debut album and now 20 years later i feel like it would be more than appropriate to uh, bring her back and to have her sing a new version her voice has only gotten better with age if you ask me and so i think it would be something special if she came back and it released as a single not expecting it would do well um soundtrack singles unless they are released by bradley cooper and lady gaga don't tend to do very well these days um but other than that other than my gripes about the music um visually it looked pretty you know interesting pretty, pretty stunning you know the action sequences looked really well choreographed um I, I love military movies um that are set like in the olden times like oh especially like world war one I. I fucking loved wonder woman and i'm so glad that they changed the story from world war two to world war one that's such an underrepresented era of history so fascinating you should really look into the politics of that war it, it just woof um but yeah no i like old school like period piece um military movies they all sent all 
have this really dark, gritty, you know, vibe and tone to them. And that looked great. The costumes looked great. Cinematography looked great. Everything looks fine. Actors look fine. The actor who was playing the father, he was doing a really good job. Um, but there's that whole witch. I don't. Even, I don't know. That was not a character in the first movie. I don't know if that's part of the original legend or not. Please let me know. Um, and then that phoenix bird. I'm. I'm assuming that's supposed to take the place of Mushu and the family spirits that are supposed to watch over Mulan. It seems like they're just changing a lot of stuff just so it can be more easily digested by the Chinese market. Um, Disney is such a powerhouse now. There's nothing that can stop them at the moment. So I guess I just gotta jump on the train and just accept our fate as helpless peons of the Disney corporate empire. Once again, if I get my Christina Aguilera 2020 uh, rendition of Reflection, I will be there. I promise. I swear to here and now, I will be there at this movie opening weekend just for Christina. Even if it's just the last song that they play in the credits, I will stay and watch every bit of the movie. And Mulan was one of my favorites as a kid, and I'm just... I love that music so much. I, I bop to that soundtrack all the time. So it just hurts that they're not only not using the songs, but then they're just gonna remind us of the music and be like, ha, gotcha. It's not really in there. But you remember it, don't you? Do you remember it? Cause I do. <laughs> all right, well, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this reaction. Let me know what you thought about the trailer down below and let's start the conversation now. <laughs> And um, as always, you guys, please take good care of yourselves tonight. Be safe, and I will be seeing you all again real, real soon.